Here is a simple little trick I learned at this past year's PTC User Winter Technical Community event from Ryan Gillot. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, Ryan from Action Engineering. And it is simple and brilliant. Here I have a part with a bunch of holes in here. Let's display some of the different dimensions on here. I'll go to the Annotate tab. Right now we're using the front annotation plane. Let's use top instead. Now I'm going to go to show annotations. I'm going to pick the first hole in the pattern. And the dimension that I want to show is this one. Let's click the OK button. And then I'm going to grab the dimension off of the part. Oh, while I'm at it, let's flip the arrows. Oops, accidentally flipped the text. I meant to flip the arrows, this icon over here. That is good. And I want to report the total number of instances in this pattern. The problem is, if I take a look at this pattern, let's go to edit definition. This is a pattern in two directions. Uh, if I also, let's get out of here. If I click on the pattern and then go to the edit command, we can see that we have the dimensions for 11 holes in this direction, five holes in that direction. Let's go to the Tools tab, and I can switch dimensions. And I can see that this dimension is actually the P11 dimension, and this is the P12 dimension. What I need to do is write a relation that multiplies those two numbers by each other. Let's do that. Let's go to the Relations dialog box. And here I have local parameters. I'm actually going to create my parameter first, just because I want to make sure it is an integer. And let's go and call this Pat inst for number of instances in the pattern and let me use the drop down list to change this to an integer now let's write our relation i always like to start with a comment line and let's put calculate total number of pattern instances and i will use this icon in order to insert the parameter from the list just to make sure i don't mistype anything and this is going to be equal to, and I can see the dimensions on the screen, P11 times P12. Let's hit the verify button. And they've been successfully verified. Here we see the value updates to 55. Let's click OK out of here and switch dimensions back. Now I'm going to click on this dimension. And here we have the ribbon tab for all the different things that we can configure about this. Let's go to the dimension text option. And here we see that's using a suffix of the phi sign. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to place inside of here the name of that parameter. So let me put ampersand and I call it pat inst. And you'll notice as I put in the value, it automatically changed on the screen to its value. And I'm going to put in a capital X in there as well. So 55 times that diameter. That's good. Let's click outside to deselect everything. And let's test that this works properly. Let's go to the pattern and we're going to edit definition. I'm going to change this to 4 in the first direction and 10 in the second direction. And let's hit the check mark. And so now I am going to need to regenerate, which we can do from the control down at the bottom of the screen. And then let's hit repaint. And there we see the total number of instances updated appropriately. And we'll test that one more time. Let's edit definition, change the number of instances in the first direction to five, then hit the check mark. And again, we need to regenerate to update all the different relations, then hit the repaint button and it updates parametrically. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.